There were the meatballs. I am. You guys saw us I'm, on the show. We were them peeling up. them apart. When we were doing our plot and planning, we were like, <laughs> we were ripping them up, trying to like make them last as long as possible. Oh, it was so good. But yeah, uh, that was probably the best meal. And when we got it, it was like a treat. First thing I wanted to know was, was I want to ask you both something, which is, I think you both made really smart and good moves. They were a little controversial in the outside world. If you were to play this again, how much would like viewers and the outside world be on your mind as you're trying to strategize and get through it? They wouldn't. Yeah. I'm there to play my game and my game only. So I will play and do whatever I need to to get to 4.56 million. I wouldn't change a damn thing at all. Yeah. Uh, I didn't think about viewers at all. Yeah. Like <laughs> no. I was thinking about winning $4.56 million. When you think about it, you're, you're better odds than playing the lottery, you know, at that point. So that was what was on my mind. Um, just winning the money. Yeah, yeah selfish. For self I was selfish, 100%. Yeah, I, yeah. Selfish. <laughs> I couldn't decide when I was watching if I would have hated to do the games more or the tests more, because they both seemed like they had messed with you so much. Like, was one worse than the other? I don't know if it was worse than the other. I think um, with me, I would say for the challenges or the, ins the games in the dorms, the tests in the dorms, um, I think there's a lot more chance that I could do something better to advance myself to the next round. I have more, I guess, what is the word I'm looking for? Um, stay in my own destiny there um, versus just allowing the game to dictate what, what, what I'm going to do. So like example for Dalgana, I didn't know what kind of cookie I was going to get. And I think that's just so much like it, it's somebody else deciding my fate at the end of the day. So um, with like Jack in the Box, I had an opportunity to to get something I really wanted. So actually, there's especially in the in the later episodes, there's a lot like of you and my stuff happening. What is it actually like to when you have that few people like live in the dorms, spend that much time together? It can't be that tense all the time, right? No, you know when we were down to like the top twelve, top nine, um, you know sometimes we were in the dorms, you know, hanging out for like days. Um, and we were taking that time to kind of get to know each other. Um, and it was a cool opportunity to see that, like, see people beyond just like your competitors and just like as people like, oh, shoot, you have something in common with me. Oh, my God. You know, and it felt good, you know, to just have like a chill moment to get to know these people outside of like competing with them. What would you have done on the bridge? Same thing, Ashley. I wouldn't took my jump. OK. <laughs> <laughs> I go. <laughs> okay, one more. I, I've been reading about you know just what it was like in the in in the dorms, what that life was like. What was the best thing you ate? The meatballs. There were the meatballs. I'm a, you guys saw us I'm, on the show. We were them peeling up. them apart when we were doing our plot and planning. We were like, <laughs> we were ripping them up, trying to like make them last as long as possible. Oh, it was so good. But yeah, uh, that was probably the best meal. And when we got it, it was like a treat. So. Oh, good. Same for you. Yeah. <laughs> There were no no salt, <laughs> no hot sauce. Like, come on. That, yeah. I mean, but we left with abs. That was true. We left in that shape and with abs. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, thank you both so much. Congrats on the show. I loved both of you on there. Thank you. Yeah.